hi my people i'm a bit early i'm a bit early but it is all planned of course it is all planned we have let me see four minutes to wait for people to get a notebook or a pen or something <laughs> hi my name is zabuli welcome to my live i don't know if it's a podcast or class or conversation <sighs> hi hi the first person i'd love to say hello to you only if you can just tell me who you are by commenting down below welcome 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 when you come in just type your name under we are going to talk about love sex and relationships yes and you know i'm a black and white person it's always as like I always say it as it is. If, if it's a solution, I'll offer it if I have it. If it's a, 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 an understanding I've gotten to get, I will share everything. You know I'm your girl. I'm that Christian who is black and white. When you come online, please say hello. Because we are going to be hanging out for a few minutes. But you will never regret. I promise you, you will never, ever, ever regret this. And if it's okay with you, get a notebook, get a pen. You got to be able to keep some things for yourself. I'm telling you. Oh, Lord Jesus. I am going to start with a prayer because I am freaking out. I don't know what God is going to do, but I know he's going to do something. Hi, Ken Gaba. Conversation, I guess. Yes, conversation for sure. Today, I am, oh, man, if, if we can get many people on board, this is really an important conversation I'm about to have. Hi, Jet Bryans. Hi. Welcome on board. Welcome, welcome. We have two minutes. And I thought uh, in these two minutes, I think we could just pray together as we wait for people. But since I'm not here for people, I'm specifically for the person who is prepared for this particular set from the time I posted that I'm going to be live. You are the one person I'm here for today. Okay, let's humble ourselves and just pray together. You know, we're going to speak a language and we have to walk together in that same language we're going to speak. Father God, in the name of King Jesus, your servant Zabuli right now is online on a global network where people could be anywhere and everywhere to hear what I'm about to say. Father, you know I never show up until you've told me to come share something. And Lord, there is a burden on my heart that I need to share with your children about. And God, I know you're going to speak to volumes of people. You're going to speak in an, an, an understanding they, they are going to for the first time perceive and act on that these are not conversations that many people are bold to have and i never show up unless you have said zabuli go speak something this is a conversation you've had me prepare for the past six months and it's not just a conversation it is the start of a revolution god in the lives of your children god i give you glory and honor for i am going to diminish and your glory is going to be hard Spirit of God, I plug into your spirit as a spiritual woman to speak from the realm that will perceive every truth to the children and God bring the answers they've yearned for, bring the solutions they've sought for, bring the understandings they've really looked for in you God. I thank you because you're awesome. I thank you because this is a transformation that is never going to be forgotten about in the lives of your children. God, may this seed multiply for I don't speak because I have it, but because God, you've burdened my heart about this. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you for the classes you've given me to be able to answer these specific uh, 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 thoughts of your children and questions and, you know, uh, 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 search for, for answers. I love you, Lord. I give you glory and honor. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for we are doing this for your glory and your glory alone. In Jesus' name, everybody says, hi, my people. So, relationships, sex, and marriage, you know. First of all, let me tell you where it comes from. Um, for the past, I think, yeah, I have had friends who have called me, uh, sat me down in conversation, people who have been married, like married, like married, like ring on it, uh, you, like wedding and everything. And most of them are newlyweds, the ones who have been calling me and, and because they, I, I'm, uh, I'm a person they trust when they are talking about their love lives, yeah. Uh, they involve me in their lives, uh, relationships. Some of them have even done performances on weddings. Some of them, I, I know their parents. Like I've seen the genesis of the relationships into the marriages. 
and personally i've been single for the past this is what from 2012 but this is my ninth year single and it's not because i'm cursed no 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 i need people to understand i am single by choice because i've understood that if i spend more time with myself i'm spending more time with god because if i understand myself it takes me back to the person who built the blueprint of who i am so i am single because i choose to be single and number two because there is no place where a man can give any overflow if they are in lack that's the total truth so personally i prefer to overflow before i start giving people a place of lack in me and and i'm not planning to get married anytime soon i know that offends most people because most of most people think marriage is like a thing god requested us to go back with no 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 marriage is not a biblical command it is an option there are places that prove that it is a ministry you're called into i need people to understand what i'm speaking about because i have spent time with god i am the queen of singles i'm telling you the truth nine years single let me tell you guys look at these eyes look at that smile who would not fall in love with this like honestly speaking i mean i am a woman who would really be in any relationship if i wanted to be in one but i'm in a relationship with myself and god that is key i need people to understand it's choice it is choice and one that i enjoy every minute for the past nine years now like I was saying, I have conversations with friends who have been married. And you guys, why I'm here today, if you remember a year ago, we had similar conversations because COVID had just started and God told me, go talk about masturbation and pornography and sex from different aspects because the children of God were fighting and battling different things. Now, when they call me, there's one particular thing that keeps popping up in these conversations. Zabuli, I don't think this can work out. They are married. Most of you are going to church and fasting and praying to get a married partner. But there are people who have gotten the marriage partners and they want out of the relationships and the marriages in a year or two or five. And this is not what God planned for. This is not what God planned for. I am here because my heart is disturbed. I am here because I am sick of what the devil is doing to the marriage uh, the marriage department in God's uh, kingdom. I am sick and tired of how many people are giving up on love simply because the other person is not walking according to them, simply because they did not take enough time to count the cost before they made the vows in the marriage. And, and, and let me tell you the truth. There is no place where God is going to justify what you're supposed to have done if you did not do it right. On a serious note, Children of God, you are crying of being lonely. You are crying of desiring marriage. But are you sure it's what you want? Are you sure you've made every preparation necessary? Are you even sure what marriage means? This is a lifetime commitment. It is a better for worse in sickness and in health. I have friends who I don't call when I'm sick because I know they cannot understand a sick person. They don't know how to be around weak, vulnerable people. Children of God are waking up every day crying and leaving the presence of God because they think God denied them a chance to have love. They are in marriages. You are just here single and asking God for marriage. They are people who are married and they cannot understand for the love of God why they even accepted, why they even requested to be married. And I cannot sit back and not say something. I cannot sit as a servant of God who knows the truth that this word has brought into reality for me. Who knows? I've seen good marriages. I have seen. I have seen God bless people in love. It is not easy. It is not a feelings game. It is a decision and a commitment. But all of it has a place it starts from. I am single because I have a lot of things I've not figured out. And I'm not willing to get all that stuff I've not figured out. Burdened on a man of God or a child of God who's been waiting for a woman who is going to actually serve with them. I am not ready to break another man's heart in the name of I did not take time to prepare I did not take time to understand I did not take time to be built I did not take time to count the cost before I ended up there this is why I'm here today 
This is what my heart is broken. That the children of God in marriage is a misery. But it is not supposed to be like that. I am not married, but I have a marriage with the Holy Spirit. And I've seen what it means to be devoted to someone like the Spirit of God. And I've seen the fruit, the peace, the unity. I've seen the fellowship. I have seen me smile with jokes with the Spirit of God. If I can be able to understand that one relationship with the Spirit of God, how can I fail to understand a man who is? Who is a product of what the Spirit of God breathed life into? My heart is grieving, you guys. Young marriages are ending at two years. And the children of God are praying day and night thinking it's going to be a different story. Child of God, you need to understand some things before you decide to get to that place because it's a lifetime commitment. And most people don't understand these things. Let me explain what it means. You date a person spiritually, first of all. Then you date a person emotionally. You date a person intellectually. You date a person financially. And you date a person because of what they look like outside. You don't date emotions. No, no, no. This is where we get it wrong. We get it wrong here. We think because we fell in love, that is all it takes to get married. Baby, there are people who have been married for 30 years and they are saying there were years we did not feel nothing for each other. But because we made a commitment and we understood that there are times emotions change. Emotions change. Emotions are not... If emotions were the template of how God created us, he would have destroyed us on emotion because we sinned. But he knew emotions change and he stepped back and he said, what would love do? Not a love of I will die for you only if you understand me. No, 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 no. A love which goes beyond me liking you and I still do something for you. God sent his son to die for us. Not because he loved what we had become, but we loved the image of what he had created us to be. We reminded him of who he was, that he could not destroy a piece of who he was. Which, one, which means that Daisy did not love us because of the sin. That's why he was angry. Emotions cannot define how big your heart can be no there is more to this thing called marriage and love and let me teach you something from the start i am here today i pray you can have data long enough to go through this conversation with me because these are not conversations that you're going to find on a tv station these are not conversations that you're going to find on a facebook page of a slay queen these are not conversations most men of god and women of god are going to have because their marriages their relationships their single lives are ugly and i'm not speaking because i'm perfect i'm speaking because i'm understanding every day of my life that it takes work for anything good to be good. Many of us answer that WhatsApp text or Facebook post or conversation because we like what we see. Let me explain something. What you see outside a man is the effects of what is inside of a man. But you can never know a man well enough just by how they look like. No, baby, no. You got to know how they are built from the seed. This is why when people get married, they don't get married to good looks. They get married to a spirit of a man. They get married to the vision of the man. They get married to the money of the man. They get married to the mental state of a man. They get married for all the things that are inside that make the things outside make sense. But many people, the devil is in the business of manipulating what it should look like outside. If you don't pay attention to what is going on inside, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. Because a man is made up of what is inside of him. And what is inside of him is what gives you the results of the outside. 
I need people who want, I need you to have the data to go through this conversation because we need to do something. The devil is destroying what the plan of God was for marriage and we do not even see it. We just look at the emotions of this guy doesn't do anything anymore for me because you married the emotions. The man is changing. The woman is changing. And when they change, you don't have a place to hold on stronger because it should have started in the spirit of the man before it became the emotion of a man. And when your emotions fail you, you blame God for the result. Am I hearing people who understand this? I need people to get this. I need you to have the data to go through this conversation with me. Because I have good news at the end of this conversation. Children of God are sleeping in tears in marriage. Asking why didn't someone tell me about this? Why didn't someone tell me this? Why didn't he show me this part? That man was whatever he is. That woman was already what she is. You just did not pay attention to the realm of the spirit, to the realm of the emotions, to the realm of the physicality, to the realm of the intellectuality. And now you are eating of fruits of seeds you didn't even know that you have. You are eating of fruits, of seeds you did not know were planted in the future you signed up for. If there is any of you people online right now and you have an ex, it's because. It is simply because you did not understand a certain fruit or seed of the person you call your ex. Yep. Because if they were not exes, it's, 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 it's because you would have already understood them. Now get a pen and a paper because we are going to study. We are walking this. This, this. this particular class is called the blueprint. And I need people to understand I am here on assignment because I'm starting a class to help people date. To help people understand being single and why they are single. The class is called the blueprint. The major aim for it is to be able to achieve wellness at the end of the day. These classes are going to be starting on the 10th of April, 40,000 shillings is going to be your school fees to understand your emotional state, your financial state, your spiritual state, your mental state, to appreciate the body state. I am here to announce that I'm starting a ministry to help single women, to help girls and boys dating, to help people who are already married who need to take a course to understand why things are the way they are. You are going to sign up. I'll be the person teaching. These are classes that will be for four weeks every Saturday for two hours at Mavuno 360. But before all that happens, you have to be able to sign up. I have 70 slots, 70 people for the first class. 70 people paying 40,000 shillings to hang out with me. We talk about these things in depth. You need to understand why you're broke. You need to understand why your business is not making money. You need to understand why God is not answering you. You need to understand why you keep falling for the wrong people. Because if you don't understand the root of it, you're going to keep reaping the fruit. And it's going to be the same every minute. This is how you end up dating the same person in a different body. Because you're attracted to a similar spirit of that person. Oh, I'm going to teach. I have 70 slots for the first class and we are doing advertisements for those classes from today. The classes are called the blueprint. They will start on the 10th of April on Saturday from 12.30 to 2.30 at Mavuno 360. But you have to first be able to pay. I have 40 slots, rather 70 slots. That's the first class. Now that's it. Let me explain some things. The blueprint. I am doing this because I studied what I'm talking about and I'm not about to teach you things that don't make sense. Do you understand me? Now, this is the missing link mm -hmm. from the desires of what you want in a relationship, in your business, in your partnerships with God to it becoming reality. I really pray you have the data because this is a good class you will never forget. This is the missing link, the blueprint. I have done studies, I've been doing research, I've been hanging out with God, I've been reading the Bible, I have been doing a lot of devotion with God before this came to be. I am not about to give you information because of my feelings, no, no, these are truths. 
And I pray we understand the meaning of studying something and understanding it. Now, before the spirit, uh, before uh, the Bible talks about in the Genesis, the book of Genesis 1, God created. I need you to understand with me. God created the heavens and the earth, which means he was not created. He created two realms. The heaven and the earth. But if you created two realms, the heaven and the earth, where was he living? I need people to understand. Where was God living if you created heaven and earth as two realms? This means God existed before, before anything. Oh, I just got a revelation. Now, if God, I need, why I'm talking, I'm talking to you relationships, but I'm going back to where it started. Because if you understand the, the seed, if you understand the seed, you're not going to be single anymore. You're not going to be angry anymore. You're not going to be brokenhearted anymore. You're not going to be broke anymore. You're not going to be praying to a dead God anymore. So I'm taking you to where it started. So if me and you can fix the foundation, the roof is going to live longer. The fruit is going to be sweeter. The fun is going to be more. Like it's not going to be a breakthrough. It's going to be an abundance of overflow favor. Don't, don't give up on me because I'm not talking about sex. Because all these things are just a product of what is supposed to be inside. Do, do, do I make sense to people? I need you to share this, by the way. These are officially the classes that I'm going to be giving. And you get a chance to share your experience and we talk about it. Anyway, I was talking to you in the beginning, God created. So if he created the heaven and the earth, where was God living? Right? Now, the Bible talks about God creating heaven and earth. Right? And then there, days later, he creates man. I need you to understand. Now, man is a substance of dust water and the spirit of god which means man has two worlds he lives in man is created with raw materials from this earth which is the dust and the water and he has an extra ingredient which is the spirit of god because god breathed himself as the life into this raw material of the body now, if man can understand that he has two worlds that are going on, man is going to be able to understand how to strike a balance. But one is a master of the other. Because there could have been a body and the bones and the flesh and the water. Without, without the breath of God, it was just a chihudu. I don't know whether you understand me. But because of the major ingredient, that was life. Which means man is more spirit than man is flesh. Do you understand me? Now, if the Bible says God breathed life into man, that means me and you existed with God before the flesh came to be. Oh, somebody say amen. No. Which means we being the breath of God, the spirit of God inside of this flesh existed before the world came to be. Do you understand what I'm trying to mean? Now, with that said, when man was created, because we come from generations and generations of people who did not understand God, we are carrying the burden of the lack of understanding and knowledge of God. This is why you can sleep and doze when you're praying. And yet you're partly spirit, partly flesh. This is why the Bible is boring. And yet your spirit that is supposed to feed off this word that was breathed by the spirit and inspired by the spirit and you're able to sleep because we have mastered the art of living in the world and not mastered the art of where it started from now the garden of eden was supposed to be a template of what heaven looked like the difference was it's good what it was going to be under the command of man but man was a subject to god Please tell somebody to come online because this is something you'll never forget. Now, if, if, <laughs> oh, Spirit of God, help me deliver. Help me deliver, Lord. 
If me, I'm able to sleep when I am praying to the Spirit of God to give me something, that means my spirit has mastered the art of sleeping, has mastered the art of boredom because in the physical, it is something I do every day. The reason why you do this is because you're not, you're not a permanent member of the world of the Spirit. And yet, the life you have is because the Spirit of God breathed it into you. Oh, Lord. The reason why they push you to go and chat, to church and pray is because your flesh has mastered the art of the physical and your spirit lacks a class. Oh, Lord. Help me, oh. Help me. Help me, Lord, deliver, because I need people to understand this. This is the blueprint. Child of God. When me and you get to be created, the mode of conversation for this body to speak to its maker is prayer. Prayer is not, is not speaking. Prayer is not making noise. Prayer is not emotional crying before God. Prayer is a sacred language. <laughs> oh, Rebosa. Prayer is a sacred language that you, the flesh, and you, the spirit, speak as one to be able to understand where everything started for you to, 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 for you to have the breath. This is the part you ask yourself, why is it hard for me to pray? <laughs> Ooh, I feel the spirit of God and I'm, God, please help me deliver because there is a lot I need to speak. Now. With all this, because we come from generations, because your great-grand-great-grandmother did not know God, and you know it. So your father probably has told you God, or your mother has probably told you God. At the age you are at, now you're competing with the knowledge that you've done. It's like, let me explain. It's like having a child who is supposed to, oh, Lord, give me the right words. It is like, being an a teenager and someone is telling you you were supposed to be a proper teenager had you gone through the proper stages of your baby life oh lord please find the right words please find the right words it is like we are praying to a god without understanding who he is because god is not of the government of this realm let me take it back. Let me take it back. Because we come from generations of people who did not understand God. Because they did not understand God. They've been sinning. They've been abusing the, the, the realm of the spirit. They've been doing witchcraft. And you are a product of a generation of generations of stuff like this. You are fighting against things. You were not even here when they were creating. Because you were not given what you were supposed to be given. Had you been able to inherit the spirit of your great grandfathers who is Abraham. You would not be struggling the way you struggle because the DNA of who they are would have redeemed time for you. I am still talking about relationships, love and sex. I just need to explain to you what the seed is and why you're still single and why you're miserable in a relationship and why your prayer life sucks and why there is no money in your pockets. Oh. Now, the word blueprint, the word blueprint, the word blueprint, yeah, God give me the right ways because I want to take it. Ooh, people need to understand this, people need to understand this, people need to understand this. The children of God have been in the same place for years. I am sick. I am sick. Now, if you understand, a blueprint is the plan. Mm -hmm. A blueprint is a plan. Ah, I have so much to say, so much. Like so much. So because of the spiritual realm and the physical realm, there is two laws. There are the outer laws. And the inner laws. The outer laws are the physical laws. The inner laws are the laws that come from the unseen, which is the spiritual realm. Now, I need you to understand this. The spiritual realm 
is a realm that has different spirits. I need you to go with me here. It has different spirits. Now, where me and you come from, and that is in the kingdom of God, is a realm that every spirit in the spiritual realm bow down, bows down to. Now, in that realm, God is the king. So this is the realm where our breath came from. For this flesh to walk. The outer laws and the inner laws. You can only grow to the extent to which your internal grows. Because your external is the fruit of the root of the internal. I know it doesn't make sense. I'm going to connect it to love, sex, and marriage in this Christian world. Now, in most cases, you can only get what you're comfortable to handle. Oh, that is going to hurt some people. <laughs> yeah, religious demons are running away. You can only handle the amount you are comfortable to handle. Some people are going to leave this conversation and go back to their cycle of, 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 of every wrong thing they've been going through. And some people are going to go out of this place with a desire to want more. Those are the people who are going to sign up for the, for the classes I'm putting out because there is more to this. Now, there is a research that shows that 80 people will not get to where they want to be or like to be. Like some people are walking through life asleep because they don't understand that they operate in the spirit before they operate in the physical. Now, these are people who think pastor is calling you to pray because he wants, you know, baby, pastor is calling you to redeem you because if your spiritual life is redeemed, your physical life is going to live in abundance. The problem is we think we know because we've heard, but we've not taken time to study and understand what exactly these things mean. Because I need to redeem some souls today, something has to happen. Mm, something has to happen. Something has to happen. Oh, Lord. Where is page two? Yes. I want to teach. These are things you will not hear and understand. Now, the roots create the fruit. The root of who you and me are is the spirit before it became the flesh which means the flesh will only give birth to what the spirit has perceived and understood <laughs> okay so the truth we are talking about is life hmm? we pay so much attention to the results it's what is underground that creates what is above the ground. It is what is in the spirit that creates what is in the physical. Every witch doctor knows it. Every atheist knows it. That is why nobody, if it was not from a spiritual realm, we would have had people who have done clones of robots that can actually breathe, feel, understand no man has been able to clone a spirit because they cannot perceive what is not of who they are mm -hmm. i said we pay so much attention to the results it's what is underground that creates what is above the ground like we said underground is the root that's the spirit and, and what is above the ground um, is visible. So if you want to change the visible, first change the invisible roots. Understand the spirit. Why do you pay your water bills when you can't see electricity? This is a good one. I had to write it. Because if you want to believe that there's electricity, just poke in that socket. <laughs> yeah. What is invisible is far more powerful than what is visible. This is true on all levels. We live in four realms. The visible realm, in the law of um, duality, there is invisible and it is also a realm. 
I am just reading through my notes because it needs to make sense. So we have the mental, we have the emotional, we have the spiritual, we have the financial. Those are not realms, but those are parts of the man you are. But there is the physical realm and the spiritual realm. Now, a lack of money in your pockets is a symptom. <laughs> Is a symptom of merely what is going on under, underneath. Your lack of understanding for a person you're loving is a symptom of your lack of understanding of their spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. Give me grace because I need these people to understand. Now, the physical realm, who we are outside, what we love to see and look at, the body and, you know, is a mere, <laughs> it's a printout of the, in. <laughs> it's a printout of three different parts of who you are, the, in, the, the, the spiritual you, the mental you, the emotional you, but all of them bow to the in, spiritual so whatever you are out, a photocopy, no photocopying what the spirit is. So if a man is broken pocket, a man is broken spirit. Oh Lord! If a man is broken love, a man is broken love in the spirit, they don't understand the seed of what that love means. I need people to understand this because this is key. This is key. If a man cannot think about you and buy you a gift, it is because he is broke in the spirit. He doesn't see that as a possibility. He actually does not know. Hmm? I need to deliver. I need to deliver. I need to deliver. Hmm? So the question here is, Do you know your blueprint? Do you know who you are in the spirit before the physical? Do you know what your blueprint is? Do you understand where, do you, where you come from? Do you understand what you're made up of? Do you understand why you feel what you feel? Do you understand why you think the way you think? Do you understand why you do what you do? Do you understand why you dress up the way you do? Because there is a reason. And when you understand that, your life is going to be made easier. I am telling you the truth. God made things possible for us. We just did not understand certain things because nobody before us had the knowledge. Now, a blueprint is a, a preset plan, a design for a particular thing. And in this case, we are looking at you as a human being in general, your emotions, your finances, your spiritual world, and your mental state. A blueprint is a preset plan. It's a design for a particular thing. Do you understand your particular design? Do you understand what you're made for? Do you understand who you are? Before you feel, because whatever you're going to feel is going to come from understanding the programming of who you are. Oh, let me not get ahead of myself. Now, there is a process I need to teach you. The process of manifestation is, I need you to first understand this. A T leads to F, an F leads to A, and A equals results. I'm going to explain. But now. I am breaking it. I really need you to pay attention. Now, the T is the thoughts, the mental. Whatever a man thinks leads to what a man feels. Whatever a man feels <laughs> needs to the actions a man will do. Whatever the man's actions are, they are the result of what the man thought what the man felt, and what the man did. Ooh. Now, for your blueprint to make sense, it has information and programming. We say the blueprint is a preset plan, plan. A blueprint is a design for a particular thing. 
For a blueprint to make sense, a blueprint includes information and programming. Oh, I need people, please guys, mind that this is information you will never pay anyone to give you. I promise you, it took me a whole six months to understand these things. Programming and information. Now, programming leads to your thoughts. Now, what is programming? I need you to understand. Your programming is how you've been built to believe, think, and act. That is the inside beat now. When the Bible says meditate on the word of God, God is teaching you to be programmed according to the system that you apply. Like the system that created you is what is teaching you to stay in touch with because you can only go as far as how much your system makes sense to you. I need people want this is not a conversation for everyone. You're very also run over online. This is for people who want something different. This is for you today. Mukama yakuza a specific project. Ngayamu bajita the blueprint. Now your programming is how you've been brought up from the day you came to be consciously. The thoughts, the classes you went through, the lessons you took, the things your parents taught you, the environment you were in. This is your programming, and that programming is there because you gathered information from experiences from being taught from experiencing yourself from what they told you not to do and what to do so your programming leads to your thoughts is what leads to your thoughts and your thoughts lead to your feelings and then your feelings lead to your actions and then your actions lead to your results do i still have people online banangi so when you so your programming becomes the seed so if you change the seed of your programming from wrong understandings of certain things from misconceptions from rumors with proper information that is supposed to be feeding who you are according to whose you are then your programming changing leads to the first essential step of changing your results are people being blessed are people being blessed i need to hear some feedback now which means your programming leads to your thoughts which leads to your feelings which leads to now you notice programming thoughts Feelings are all things you don't touch. They are in the invisible. These are all things that bow to the spirit. Which later lead to your actions. Now your actions are what people see. And people say perception is key, but don't judge no people because you don't understand their programming. Because they did something. You need to understand the fruit of the root of someone to actually be able to judge its fruit. So your programming leads to your thoughts which leads to your feelings which, this is a process you're supposed to have which leads to your actions which goes to the results of whatever you're doing whatever excess you have whatever sex addictions you have whatever masturbation issues you're going through whatever whatever relationship chaos you're going through whatever brokenness you're going through in your money whatever uh, lack you're going through with understanding god now Your programming is based on how you are conditioned. How you are conditioned is verbally, the, the, how, how you're now conditioning has three arenas of your life. You are conditioned to be or do whatever you're going to do verbally by being programmed by what did you hear. When you were growing up, what did you hear about love? What did you hear about sex? What did you hear about God? What did you hear about um, uh, money? What did you hear about relationships? What did you hear about cultures that are different? So conditioning has three different forms. You, uh, we, now conditioning is what leads to your programming. So 
the conditions that lead to how you are programmed, that leads to how you think, that leads to how you feel, that leads to how to, you act, that leads to the results of what you give. It comes from verbal programming. What did you hear when you were growing up about love, about sex, about God, about relationships? What is scripture saying about sex, about love? Because most of us came to know God old. So there is a first programming that happened that was a secular kind. Where our parents were not doing things based on who God is. But from what they knew, what they were given. So which means I'm talking to you from two perspectives. You have two programmings. Number one, how you grew up, what you had hearing up. And then later when you grew up, when you came to Christ, what you were taught and you didn't even go to experience. Number two, modeling. Modeling is what did you see when you were growing up? What did you see when you came to Christ? What did people make you go through when you came to Christ in line with relationships and sex and marriage? And then number three, there is verbal programming. Uh, sorry, specific incidences. What did you experience when you were growing up? What did you experience when you came to Christ? What did you experience when you walk with Christ when you started to do this? Now, number one, verbal programming like we said, is what did you hear about sex, love, and marriage? What did you hear about God? What did you hear about money? The blueprint is the class you're taking right now, the foundation. Now, when you were young, You experience a lot of things that shape the person you are. Most men you're looking at who are still childish is because the boy in them did not outgrow the stage of a boy to become a man. So there is boys walking as men on streets. There is boys asking girls for marriages. Not women who have understood the boys and the girls in them and acknowledge that there are things these people did not understand that need to be reshaped. So most people are going into marriages, into relationships with the spirits of boys in men, with the spirits of girls in men. This is why you keep thinking, why is she premature? Because the girl in them, according to their conditioning, did not grow up. Oh, Lord, I wish thousands of people were on this live feed. I wish because Christians need this. Christians need this. And if you're here and you've not tagged someone to come online, I'm sorry, that's the truth. Because if it is this good to keep you going, you got to share this. You got to call somebody. You got to fo force them to watch this because this is how we cut the roots that the enemy is using to destroy the church, that the enemy is using to destroy marriages, the enemy is using to destroy relationships. This is it. This is a weapon of mass destruction to a lack of understanding in this generation. This is what we need. Not more prayers of married partners. We need to understand. Where do you come from to start talking about marriage if you don't even understand? What was it that they taught you about marriage that you need to fix and change before you ask God for marriage partner? You need to stop certain prayers tonight and go back to the drawing board and ask God, please teach me about my blueprint. You need to get that 40,000 and sign up for this class because you're going to keep being broke. You're going to keep crying. You're going to keep getting married and divorcing until you understand the root. Until you go back to the exact place where it starts from. Now, some of the things, for example, about relationships we've had, every parent out there, not every, but majority, the moment you clock 25, who told you that it's about age? Parents are sending their kids into dens of lions without understanding. I've seen people who wanted to get out of a proposal, but because the parents signed up, because the parent, the parent has a terrible blueprint about marriage. My God, children of God need to understand this. They need this because the enemy is winning by the fact that we don't understand this. Where are the parents? Where are the young women who are forced right now of Fumbirwa Diokuze? Who told you? Who told you age is a qualifier of marriage? Who told you? Where is it in the scripture? You parents who are God-fearing, who are sending your children. 
to marriages in the name of Unswala Namuku Zatafumbi Duomana Kadi Bide Uwo, rather than going out there because Omana wa again and a fumbiwa, Nabangari successful, Gomuzadi Gogova Kumirengalo, Omana wa again and a fumbiwa, Nevan Pemi Gonanova and again and Ayenda. You are the same person who carries that problem. You are the same person who lives in that shame. So, what about you? Help them understand. How about we take time and understand and teach our children it is not the age. It is an understanding of the blueprint of what God meant it to be. My God. Yesterday I was studying and my heart got broken. Do you know that most people, let me say this with all love, Bananga, with all love, with all love. If you are being able to and be a part of your financial programming of your marriage. What about you, chairman? But let me tell you, if you've been a chairman of a marriage that has not worked out, go and repent before God because you signed up on that marriage. You were in the center of what happened before that union. I don't care what the decisions were. You were among the people who signed up. So if you can make people pay for money to come and pay for the wedding, why can't you create the same groups when marriages are breaking apart? The people you choose as your chairman should be people you are respectful of. People who are doing something right. People who are accountable to somebody else. That way when they teach you something, you're listening to their spirit and not just their way of getting money out of the pockets of men. Oh, Ngawe mututuza, mwedding meeting is amwe. Ngate munaba kwa ukana, mututuze. Mutugambe, because we have signed up on your marriages. We have signed up on your relationships. We are accountable before God. Now when you keep quiet, that's where the enemy starts killing everything. This is how you know you didn't have friends in the first place. You had people who paid to come to an event, but not people who are doing life with you. Because they should be the people who hold you in prayer when the marriage is hard. The other day when we were doing Girl Get Up a week ago, a apostle said something. He said, if God is not going to help that marriage work out, because he called you into it and you ended up in that marriage, he's going to give you a firm foundation of a shoulder that you're going to be able to carry that marriage to the finish line without failing. Oh. Young people, marriages are not the wedding. Marriage is a lifetime, 24 hours, doing life with somebody. You cannot make decisions of marriages and relationships based on your emotions. Get to know the programming of a man. Get to know the programming. Because when you understand that, you know what to do because you know the programming of a man. But do you know what we are doing? Take me out. I'm looking for a man who is going to ask for a woman for marriage after taking him for a date. We are going for a date with God. Me and you are going to do this together. Where are men who are after the heart of man before? And you're telling me you're praying for marriage? You don't even know what you've had growing up. You've not sat down to analyze what God has told you about certain things. You've not sat down to understand what What do we do? We keep praying. You don't even know what you're counseling. Go and understand what exactly you're fighting against. Because if you don't understand it, you cannot fight an enemy you don't know. You can't. It is an unfair battle. Again, a wangula. Because you don't always know punch here. Because in the first place, you don't even know how the punch looks like. No, you don't. What are we doing? Sabi do bufumbo. Naba sumba ne babi sika mo. Bana imu kama komi awe chisa. Chokomi awa bantu awa kutia. Baku some saba na bonga weba wangula. Mukama komi awa basa java no nyoburu njibo kubigere vyo. Mukama tuwala mizimu java sumba. Aba ze kubututi ne bali mba abana bo. Ne baba sibila mubiusive. Ne bata wa some sabi waba gamba. Oroku wanga bano nye chikumi kukatuti. Mukama. Bako no mjiji guo situla. Ogulu mililu wabana bo. Ogulu miliruwa ufumbo. Ogulu miliruwa mikwanu. Mukama wako no mjiji gositula. That's my cry. 
All of us want to become prophets. I'm not even going to go there. Let me just keep teaching about this. I am not going to go there. I am surely not going to go there. Oh, Lord, I need your grace because my generation is perishing. We are dying because we lack understanding. And understanding requires you to have knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, you cannot fight understanding with anything. Which means if you're not understanding because you don't have the knowledge, you are not applying the wisdom. And every day you stand before God and you're proclaiming the fear of God. It's the beginning of wisdom. Go back and understand. Go back and get knowledge. Go back to the roots. Verbal programming. What did people around you tell you about marriages? What are people telling you about sex? I've heard people saying, to date a virgin is hard, so everybody needs to first break their virginity for, for love to make sense. Who the... Who... We are serving eviction notice on every lack of understanding. Every realm that rules in the children of God's lives, that lacks an understanding of where we come from, the spirit of God that is within us. We are serving eviction notice to gain a back on a bit true, sir. I need people to sign up for this class. 40,000 shillings is taking you four weeks of classes. Every Saturday, two hours, let's, let me sit and teach you. Let us study together. Let us understand why you are the way you are. Why you're broke? Why you're single? Why you're not working out? This is not something I would give for free because people are used to getting free things that don't work for them. I am offering you a guarantee. If you would walk right with God, with this understanding about the blueprint, you're going to walk right. I'm telling you, things are going to have to change. Things are going to have to change because this is the thing about God. If you follow principles and you have the person of Christ, there is no way things are not going to work out. Oh, what did you grow up hearing about sex, love, and marriage? What did you grow up hearing about money? These are the things in the blueprint we are talking about. I need you to tell somebody about this conversation. Where's my page for? Because I'm almost done. I'm sorry I took so long. All the things you had growing up remained in your subconscious that's the truth in the spiritual realm those things are somewhere everything you had every two baby charm let me give you an example what was a number you ever walk past a place and every day you you've never paid attention and then one day you pass by and abasa ze or they remove the billboard and you're like something is missing every day we feed whether we summon what we feed or not for the fact that we are in an environment and people are speaking and things are going on we are picking up things and they are shaping us whether we like it or we don't. That's the truth. Sometimes you're around secular people and they're talking about weed and cursing. And you're like, me, I'm a Christian. I can't become that. And then one day, no and you scream the F word and you're like, oh Lord, what happened? You have been fellowshipping with something for so long. You do not need to know you're fellowshipping it because you're becoming it in the absence of not knowing that you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying it. So, in the spiritual realm, all the things you grew up hearing about money, love, relationships, sex, and marriage are somewhere. And, and, and as, as a blueprint, and it is, it, it is somewhere as a blueprint, it is somewhere. And it is running your life every day. Verbal conditioning is powerful. What we hear is very powerful. They, 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 they taught me that I should stay humble. This is an experience. They taught me when I was growing up as a kid that I should stay humble. Uh, 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 stay humble. And, uh, and uh, for me, when they taught me that, I perceived that being humble is making sure money doesn't run me. So when I got money, I used to give it away just so I stay humble to glorify God. Now a time came when I was so broke and I was crying before God and he's like, I've given you everything. What else do you want me to give? Something I grew up knowing. 
Now, non-support, like, b b between um, deeply rooted emotions and, and uh, logic, the former things always wins. Like, non-supporting beliefs where, um, sorry, when we dig out the inner toxic uh, financial, spiritual, and emotional and mental weeds, these are the things that we are not supposed to know that we now know. Then we can start loving the color of the fruit that is coming in after we've cleared the weeds. Because now we are talking about a seed and a fruit. And we're talking about life as the tree. And we're talking about God as the vine. I don't know whether it makes sense, but I think it does. So when we take up the weeds of what we had that is not supposed to be here, what love has been told to us to be, what sex should be, uh, like if, you're not, if we take up those weeds, financially, emotionally, spiritually, then uh, we, we can start loving the color of the fruit informing that we've decided to choose, right? Now, there are four key elements of change uh, that help in reprogramming your blueprint. Yeah? Number one, you need to know what it is. That's awareness. Know it exists. Know you have a terrible atmosphere about sex. Know that financially you're getting money and you're working hard, but you don't understand what money is according to the kingdom-based understanding of it, which we said is the blueprint of who we are. When you start understanding, then you know that there exists a problem that I need to fix. I am so lonely. I'm so depressed. I am, I am addicted to porn. I'm addicted to, to masturbation. I'm addicted to... I'm addicted to Lugambo. I'm addicted to sex. I'm addicted to money. Like when you start understanding that I have a problem because this addiction is a fruit, then you can help change it. This is why I'm offering these classes. 40,000 shillings for a month. Every Saturday you sit and listen for two hours with a notebook. You ask questions. I promise you we are going to get those weeds out. And I have 70 slots. 70 slots. The moment you're interested in this class, you go to my DM when we are done talking here, book. 40,000 is paid ahead of time. These classes are going to start on the 10th of April. I am not forcing people. Even if I have two people, even if I have four people, if those people can sit in the class and understand what the blueprint means and they take it to other people and they start prospering according to the blueprint of what God meant them to be. My work is done. I am not offering this information for free. Why? It has taken me resources to get this. Time, sacrifice, 70 slots, 70 people. And after that, by the way, if you're single and you want a date, you're likely to have a date who you understand because you've been understanding the classes together. After it, I think we should do dating picnics. Yeah, yeah. But you only get to get to date if I'm going to be a part of you meeting. I'm going to have to offer some information that you need to understand. If I'm going to be accountable before God for the woman you're marrying who you're going to meet in this blueprint program, I need to fix it by first of all giving you the information you need, then you choose to fail. I think it's a dating program, but it just has a class. 40,000 shillings for four classes a month, every Saturday, two hours. Sit, let's talk. Then after you can meet the woman of your dreams in the class. In the class. If I'm going to be able to be the person who makes you meet and you get married. I got to be able to fix some things by telling you the information you need. 70 slots. If you're interested in the class of the blueprint. I'm going to be here every Saturday for the next three Saturdays. I'll just be continuing to advertise this. The posters will be 70 slots. 40,000 shillings is the enrollment class fee. For uh, 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 eight hours in total for a month where you get to hang out and we talk about these things. Let me help you understand. So awareness, understanding that a problem exists. This is now. Number two, you need to understand where your way of thinking originates. And you have to see how to confront it outside you. Number three, you now when you know it's there, then you understand where it came from. So knowing it is the first step. Understanding where it came from is the second step. Number three is the association. Here you realize that the way of thinking isn't you. And you separate it. And in the present best on where you are and you want to be tomorrow. So 
in a file of um uh of uh, so you you get to exchange what you don't need anymore with what you need when you seek your help you get to be helped then you use what you've been given as tools to help yourself get out of that place so you get to be aware you understand and then you, you associate some of you just need to sit around some people and listen to them talk and then you're going to find solutions some of you are already getting mega breakthroughs with this conversation number three we're talking about modeling modeling is what you your parents or guardians or friends or experiences like in the arena of money love sex relationships god where you grew up what, what they what they did there's that saying that goes monkey see monkey do like yeah most of us are gonna end up like how our marriage the marriages of our parents are oh inez is fun yes she's interested Abla, i don't know what to do for inez and i know she's a faithful person she will show up for that class now modeling is what they did we started with um verbal programming so modeling is what they did what you kept seeing people do what you kept people see and some people uh, like i've seen guys about love sex and marriage who says how can you have one partner Eh? You even have parents, me, I know that because I've, I've been first hand in a family with that. So, you, you, eh? how can you be single at 40? This is what you grew up hearing and you think it is wrong. This is modeling. This is how you've been modeled to believe. And like, mm, I don't think I can date a man who is broke. Yes, that's very true. But there are men who are broke with a purpose. Of building from that brokenness they are men with a vision they are just not where they are supposed to be so if you come thinking you're looking for a rich man you're gonna miss a man with a vision who is coming out of a place of brokenness because now they know what they're supposed to do with God and they're in that place headed to that place now modeling is <laughs> I'm just hinting on some of the things you're gonna learn in these classes yeah you find a boyfriend every time you're talking about money this is a result of what this boy saw the mother do or the father do when they were together every time the mother spoke about money my point is these men are not just what you see because they are grown as well as now when you're dating him and you're looking for only the good without understanding how to save the good from the bad do they even know there is bad and good in there because if they don't you're struggling for nothing now number one discover what blueprints have been modeled verbally programmed with specific incidences some of you um not in relationships properly or not in a relationship with god proper because you saw all go whatever ah let me use this example have you seen big christian men who are really so anointed failing and everyone is like you're modeled that is an understanding that that you're going to hold on to and it's going to shape a lot of things you're going to do this is where i start finding men who are like mm, blah, 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 blah. those men who love god like that failed maybe i should love god with one leg in and one leg out so that when it fails i'm not so much in there so you love god halfway and you love the world halfway because they've told you the people whatever called the person you modeled your life after failed baby every man's print blueprint is different yours cannot be mine no it can't you can only learn from my scars and learn from my successes but you can never you can never clone my bl blueprint you can't now you discover what blueprint has been modeled verbally programmed with a specific evidence change it and you build another you don't just speak and realize this is an, a game of action this is a game of doing something this is why these classes are going to happen we are going to do something we are going to do something about that situation we are going to do about something about that loneliness we are going to do something about that masturbation spirit we are going to do something about that brokenness to in a saint sour be life for real hell mm -mm, that's not your portion that is not the blueprint god made for you this is why the classes of the blueprint are here 
70 slots, 40,000 shillings up front. Register and get a notebook. Show up from the 10th of April for two hours for four weeks. After that, you can date whoever you want in the class. <laughs> hey, that's not my business. Now, I think today, basically, I wanted to talk about the blueprint. I needed to talk about the blueprint. And it turns out I have come to the end of the class. Now, this is me putting out the official ad an announcement. I have 70 slots for this class called The Blueprint, where we are going to learn how to win spiritually, emotionally, mentally, sexually, and financially. I am not calling upon people who are here, Kuwakanya Ambeira. The reason I had to give you this foundation of this class is simply because anyone who wants to sign up needs to first understand there is a problem they need to fix. This is not a call for you to... It's not a, it's a show. It's not a show that I want to sell out. No. I am telling you the truth. This is a class for men and women of God who want to get much more than what the enemy has programmed as their portion because there is an abundance. The Bible says from glory to glory because God knew you can never have enough when you're my child because I am never, I, I am never limited. There is more. 70 slots. The number to call is 0784-3307. Call a friend and book a class. It is going to be four weeks, two hours of those four weeks every Saturday from midday to two. You need help only if you know there is a problem. This is not a story for everybody. I know for a fact. 70 slots. We are specific because we know not everyone is willing to invest in themselves. You're going to keep being single. You're going to keep being heartbroken. You're going to keep being broke. Even after you work hard, you're going to keep praying to a dead God because your spirit has the word of God and not the power of the word of God. 70 slots. Today I officially launch the program and we are just doing uh, publicity from now. Every Saturday at 6, I'll be here to share a little bit about these classes. Today, I just thought I should let you know about the genesis of this class. It's called The Blueprint. It helps you win emotionally, financially, sexually, spiritually. 40,000 shillings for 8 hours, 2 hours every week for a month. I promise you. I am telling you. I hope you've been able to share this. But I would love to pray with people who have understood that they really have a problem that they need to work on. Father God, in the name of King Jesus, for any man who has been desiring a change from cycles that have not been able to be broken for years, God, I pray that whoever has had this message and they need help, they are going to call and start a journey for themselves. Father, they've been able to invest in other people, in other businesses, but they've never been able to invest in who they are with you. I pray that, God, you avail the resources for whoever is willing to be a part of this but the 40,000 shillings is the money you told me to seek not because I need the money but because they needed to add a value to what I'm giving them because it took a lot for me to achieve whatever I'm speaking about in these projects I give you glory and honor because you are God who sees beyond flesh and God you are God of the spirit may you help us nurture a relationship in the spirit that way in the flesh we win financially emotionally sexually spiritually God you are a God of everything good in this world and there is no limit to your goodness I thank you for the people who are going to become official disciples in this program and I pray that there will be people who are going to learn and take these classes for other people to learn Lord I thank you because you're good I thank you because you're faithful thank you for those who have been here from start to end whoever has been able to be uh, to listen to this and pay attention god may you give the spirit to change the blueprint of everything that they need to be seeing change thank you god for your faithful till next saturday we meet i love you guys don't forget we are registering 70 slots are available and i'm sure after this we are going to have more people who have already taken some so if you have a best friend and you really need to do something out of that place you're in you need to book up a slot DM me, message me, call 0784303007. More information will be given. I cannot wait to see you next week on Saturday. See you guys, and I love you.
Good night. Ciao.